I'm in a tiny, tiny branch of the population, somewhere between a dog and a human. And I didn't think it was an insult. I said, oh, that's quite nice. I can <laughs> smell better than most humans. I'm Joy Milne, I'm 67, and I smell Parkinson's. Um, my husband was a doctor, I was a nurse. I sensed a strange smell when he was around and caused a bit of contention because I said he wasn't brushing his teeth and then I was saying he wasn't showering and so on and so forth. So I just had to be quiet. But then uh, we went to a Parkinson's meeting and my nose just thought, wow. this experiment is to see whether Joy can distinguish the Parkinson's smells from the samples that we've taken from patients as they're separated and if she smells it we'll then know right away what that molecule is. It's heavy, thick musk smell, very different. People with Parkinson's and their carers and their families, they will tell you that smell is there. I smelt it 10 to 12 years before I was diagnosed. As the Parkinson's got worse, the smell got worse, and it became just part of him. But I, with my sense of sense, well, I could smell it all the time. It became quite uncomfortable, really. But I had the sense not to nag too much. <laughs> We just put Les would like to thank you for your friendship and many happy memories over the years. So that's his funeral. God, you're a wonder, Joy. I mean, that time when you when you smelt Les on other people and then now we're here, it's sort of amazing. One best we've done, it really yeah. is. It, and the background was Les. It's horrible watching your partner change like that. It really is. If we get the test right, um, they will never get to that stage because at that stage of diagnosis, 60 to 70% of damage, neural damage, is already done. You're not going to find a cure at the moment. It's not there. But to stop or alleviate it is just going to be tremendous.